Today we're back in the marshes around Cape May, New Jersey, hoping to hear an early migrant American bittern. Our chances of seeing them are slim, but hearing them will be just as gratifying since these birds are at the top of the strange sound pyramid. American bitterns are a type of heron that are generally found in freshwater marshes in the U.S. and Canada. They have a wide range, but in breeding season are most abundant in the northern central part of North America across to New England, and winter from the mid-U.S. down to Mexico. These bitterns are part of a genus found worldwide, which includes pineated bittern in South America, Eurasian bittern across Europe, Asia, and Africa, and Australasian bittern in Australia, New Zealand. These four species are alike in appearance and all share similarly odd songs. American bitterns are spectacularly camouflaged in their environment, which is usually tall grasses and reeds. It's very easy to pass one by, especially when they are in alarm posture with their bill in the air and swaying their body slightly with the breeze. Their habitat and secretive behavior has left a lot that's unknown about their lives, including even basic information about chick rearing, mating behavior, and population density. Their camouflage is probably more for hunting than avoiding predators. American bittern usually ambushes its prey, using its downturned eyes to survey the marsh below them and then almost imperceptibly positioning their bill to suddenly strike. The victim is usually a small fish, frog, insect, salamander, snake, or meadow vole. Here's a video I took in Florida of an unfortunate water snake being captured by a very persistent bittern. Startled or migrating birds might make a series of squawks not unlike other herons. but in the spring their songs are instantly identifiable. The sounds are made by males as a combination territorial and mate attraction call, and they do it by inflating and contorting their necks and chests. Here's what it sounds like. The low, booming quality probably helps the songs carry through the dense marsh vegetation and have led to nicknames like Stake Driver and Thunder Pump. They have also led people to connect them with dark forces and bad luck. But for the bittern, they bring good luck in attracting females, who are unusual in the world of herons for nesting and raising the young alone. This spring, if you have a freshwater marsh in your area, see if you can't hear this very unbird-like bird song and add it to your list of unique sounds in the world of birds. If you have a bird whose sounds you'd like to learn, or if you have a sound recording you'd like us to talk about, just contact us at info at If you enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe and check out the useful links below for more resources. You can also find out about becoming part of the Terra Project at www.terralistens.com. Thanks for listening, and see you next bird.